Are you gonna load? Come on, high res. Holy shit. Oh, they're flickering, they're flickering. That still looks blurry. That's not loaded. But my skin is loaded. Everybody else seems to be loaded. The map still looks like shit, though. I don't know what this is. This all looks all blurry right here. That ain't loaded. I'm not gonna complain, though, because I, I don't give a fuck about the map or, like, little parts of the map not loaded. As long as I can see my skin, that's the main thing that I want. Holy shit, yo, the map's loaded. The map loaded. It's two games in a row now. I'm dead. I mean, technically three games in a row, because this last game I also had textures too until I emoted. And that got rid of the textures for some reason, so... Technically three in a row until I screwed the last game up. Because I didn't know that would do anything. I don't know. Like, I'm telling you guys right now, Kasumi does not feel any different. They nerfed the absolute shit out of her this patch. They, they hit her in the actual, like, actual patch, and then they nerfed her again, like, really heavily in, like, the bonus balance for the, from the PTS. She doesn't feel any different at all. Still really fucking annoying to go against. Still brain dead as fuck to play. Nothing has changed. I think, I think the one thing that actually like holds her back though is she has no mobility like she does get dulled pretty easily like if you can dive her really fast and like out damage her in close range she does get dulled really easily though like that's the one drawback she does have like she isn't unkillable like that type of broken but she's just really annoying to play against she does have checks and counters like that's one way to counter her is just to fucking dive onto her if she has no mobility she can't get away She, the, the real issue with her is she, I think she's just poorly designed. That's a, she's a champion that has no type of ammo. Like, at least Maeve, like, she has infinite ammo too, but, like, at the same time, it's it's completely balanced. She's a well-designed champ. Like, she, they tried to do the same thing with Kasumi as a DPS, and they, they, they fucking poorly designed her. That's the real problem with her. She has unlimited ammo and there's like not really any drawback. You just stand there and press one button. She takes no skill. Like I don't even barely need to look at these people and I can damage them. It's still incredibly fucking brain dead. It didn't change anything. Like I'm still barely, I'm just standing here pretty much. Like yeah, she's behind a wall. I can't, I can't get people behind a wall anymore, but. Like all you need to do is just kind of like look at them still. It's still incredibly busted. They didn't nerf it enough. I can't wait. Would tell them how I felt about that. I'm gonna buy a record. I'm gonna see how record scales. They also in the in the PTS notes they actually changed kill to heal now. Now it's not affected by anti healing, but they also decrease the amount of health you get now per stage. I think. 
I think it used to be 750 for a tier two. And it was like a thousand fifty for like a tier three or something. Five, and they four, nerfed it, so three, two, one. And then they buffed lethality too. They buffed lethality tier three. Or they buffed every one of every one of them up, up from two point five to three point five seconds out of the PTS. They buffed them even more, so they're still not that good. I, I don't think they're that good, but they're better than they were. I still don't know the logic about, like, having a movement ability where you're a fucking mist and you're a mist floating in the air and you still take damage. I'll never know what the design behind that was. That is so fucking stupid. That is one of the worst design abilities in the game. It really is. It makes zero sense and it's just, like, fuck logic. You're a fucking ghost for crying out loud. How do you take damage when you're a fucking ghost? Yeah, I mean, I guess, like, I think I talked about her a long time ago, too, when I, I first started playing her last patch. Like, another drawback of her, she has, like, no long range, so you're picking up DPS. You're trading, like, brain dead brain deadness for, like, a, a DPS that has, like, legit no long range bulk either, so that's another kind of weakness she has, which is kind of, like, a balance thing type aspect to her, but even then, it doesn't really matter. You're still doing so much consistent damage. You're, like, medium range. Because you just, you just click one button and look at people. As long as you, you have somebody kind of on your screen, you can do damage. Doesn't really matter. You have no ammo or anything, so... Our support is dog shit. Dog shit support. Doesn't heal us. Does not heal us at all. Dog shit. Once more into the fray. Now I'm gonna do a test. I'll see if the textures go away if I emote. They do. They do go away. They do. That sucks. Capture point that sucks. In 15 seconds. Well, y'all, I found the new way to how to actually keep your textures. Don't use any of your emotes if you want to actually see Five, your skins. Four, three, two, Otherwise, they go one. away. You'll lose textures for the entire rest of your match if you emote at any point during the game when the textures are actually loaded. That sucks. I mean, it's better than it was, like, we can actually have textures now if, if you want to have them. But that still sucks that you can't even fucking do that. You can't even use your emotes.
Lilith actually got buffed too. They actually buffed the shit out of Lilith. So, those of you guys that like playing Lilith, she got buffed this patch. Her swarm it got an increased duration at base. They, they increased the cooldown, I think, by a second, but they increased it by like over a, a second and a half. So it lasts longer now. And then they made it so you can actually use death wings while you're channeling your swarm, which is actually huge. Gives her a lot of survivability. Which they actually changed in the PTS too. I'll admit to you, like they actually changed some stuff in the PTS. They actually used the PTS this patch, y'all, for actual balance. They actually used it for balance. They they made a decent amount of balance changes with the PTS, unlike they normally do. I'll give them credit where credit's due. They actually put a decent amount of balance out of the PTS. And a decent amount of fixes too. They actually fixed a, a Betty LaBomba bug. That was been in the game since she's, she was put into the game. So the, the bug where seconds. she does zero damage with her alt, they finally fixed it, y'all. That got fixed at, after the PTS. Finally. It took them... How long Five, has Betty LaBomba been four, in the game? Like eight months? Three, it took them two, eight months to fix that one. bug. Now she has one less bug that's game-breaking. That actually makes her worse. And I ought to get rid of the textures now too though, so. Note to self, if you, if the textures load, do not use an emote because that'll get rid of the textures. It'll go back to being Play-Doh. Any of my fellow Switch players. I don't know. I don't notice anything different with... I really don't notice anything different with Kasumi. She got nerfed into the ground, and she still feels the exact same. There's nothing different about her. You want to know what that says? That says poorly designed champion. That shouldn't even be in this game. There you go. Why is Kasumi in this game, and why is she even a champion? We'll never know.